Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm gonna show you guys a really cool uh, wireless microphone system that you can use with your smartphone. Stay tuned. Alrighty guys, so uh, basically here, um, I've been working with Moza for a while. They've been a very a big supporter of the channel for me. And uh, they also, I think they broke off into another small company. I'm not exactly sure the details, but uh, Mirfect Audio. Um, I've been getting a lot of stuff sent from them with the past uh, few months here. And uh, this time we're gonna be looking at their wireless system. I've used one of their other mics, which is actually fantastic here, which is this compressor mic. It's like a shotgun that sits on the top of uh, your uh, camera. But this here is really made for cameras and smartphones. So I was really happy to take a look at this because this might be something that you guys might want to check out. I am using the system right now. Again, it has this little kind of like uh, microphone box here and the mic's on the top. It's kind of a unidirection. It basically gets around uh, sound and all this in the circle there. So this works out pretty cool. And then what's really nice about this it has a little slot here for a, a micro SD card. So actually, oh, I thought it was. Let me turn it. I should have turned it on. But I can record also to this SD card as a backup because right now I have it connected into my phone, which I think is very clever. So let's take a look at a little bit more detail how, uh, about this microphone. All right, guys. So let me get in here. Basically, I got my notes here. So what you basically get in the box here, you basically get the receiver and then the transmitter. And um, basically, you also will get a lavalier mic, which is uh, like a body mic if you want to have it clipped onto your body, which is very cool, but I just don't want to have cables hanging off of me, which I think is cool. And you get a nice little pouch for everything to go into. And uh, you do get a couple of cables. You get a cable to connect to like camera, like a DSLR camera or something. And then you do get the special cable to connect to a cell phone. And um, what's really nice that I also, again, like I said, I mentioned in this device here, this has a slot. You can put a memory card inside of here, turn on, and it records, and it gets a backup. Now, believe it or not, I've been testing this, and I've been using it more just basically. I'll have the unit. I'll have this transmitter in my pocket, and then I will just click this onto my body, put the SIM card inside, and then boom, just record my sound already, boom, and then just take this out and plug it into the, uh, my laptop. It, it works out really nice for me, so I don't have to have a cable connecting this to my cell phone. It just, it, it's more quicker and easier to set up that way for me. One other thing is also nice here. It has this quick little, uh, this little clip here, but this clip also fits on the top of a shoe mount perfectly. Uh, let me, let me get my camera and show you guys how easy this sits on the top. All right, guys, so I got my uh, Canon EOS here, the workhorse, it used to be my workhorse. But anyways, here, I'll take this and it basically will just slide right here on the top. It can slide in and boom, fits on there, your cold shoe mount, super fantastic, super convenient. Actually, it'll probably be the transmitter. This is the transmitter and it will fit on there like that. And then I can connect my cable uh, into this, into my uh, camera here if I wanted to use it with my uh, camera. Also, uh, one other thing that I do like about this unit it also does have a headphone port here so I can listen to and monitor my sound, which I rarely do, but it is good to know that you can have that option there. It has a couple of modes in here. It has a dB uh, plus and a dB negative. I can do a plus three gain, a, three, a plus three gain on the dB. I can do a plus six, and then I can do a minus 18, and then I can do a minus six. Right now on the unit I'm using, I do have it set to minus six. And then there also is a bypass frequency cutoff. So I can cut out some low rumbles or low hum. I can cut out 170 and below, or I can even go down to 230 and uh, below. Um, I did a recording when I, I had it uh, set to 170. It was a little tinny for my voice. All right, guys, so uh, this last test, I went about 35 paces. And surprisingly, it didn't drop a signal. And uh, I'm gonna show you this clip here. And I also tested out the range of these things. This thing, I think up to 160, 170 feet uh, or something like that. Um, I'll show you this clip here on the, I was testing out the range. 46, 47, 48, 49, 50 paces, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59. 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, six. camera. <laughs> so we're still getting a signal. I am quite surprised at the range of this microphone. 
super fantastic to know that I can go that far and, uh, and still have a signal. I went at about 70 paces. All right, guys, here's a prime example of the backup system working at its finest. I forgot to plug the microphone back in because in between each take, I would monitor the sound. And luckily, I had it turned on, the recording to the SD card, and I was able to save the audio. I had the backup audio. This, I mean, this I can't express to you how cool this was because I would have had to redo the whole shot again. But luckily, I had it saved to the SD card, and I had the SD card turned on. And it was recorded in the background. Fantastic system. Again, you also get a dead cat, which is uh, very useful. I use these all the time. Again, you get this uh, lavalier mic, super fantastic. They do have two units. This unit all is dual channel, so you can have one for yourself and then one for your interviewee. And then here's the single unit, just one unit plus the, the one unit for here. So enough of my jibber jabber. Take a look. I'll have the link down in the description, all the information about this system. It's a very cool system. I really like it because, again, um, having these two systems like this, I can have one on my gimbal and then the other one in my pocket and be able to record to the SD card. Fantastic. So, all right, guys, enough of my jibber jabber. Let me know down in the comments what system you guys use to record your sound. That will be cool to recommend for everybody. And other than that, all the info will be down in the description. Catch you guys in the next one. Keep filming. Patrick LeVar. Peace.